Hello YouTube, welcome back to my video. In this video, I am going to show you how you can create a login uh, with Facebook in your web application. So this is purely on JavaScript. So this will work in all application which is supporting HTML and JavaScript. For demonstration, I am uh, using uh, PHP as a front-end technology. I have installed a PHP server named XM. So I have already installed my XM server in my PC. If you don't have your XM server, if you don't if you want to uh, install if, if you want to install this one just go to my description I have another video how you can install and configure a, a simple exam server or a simple PHP server uh, in your PC okay so as I told I'm using uh, the front end as a PHP okay now the first step we have to do is we have uh, we have to create a Facebook app from Facebook developers site okay so just uh, uh, Google Facebook for developers in your Google website it will be taken to a uh, a website name as developers.facebook.com just click on that so this is the uh, developers.facebook.com you can see a lot of uh, documentation and different types of APIs that Facebook is providing for developers there are a lot so we are simply concentrating now login with uh, uh, Facebook in a web application using JavaScript okay now just click on a uh, login here if you are not logged in and fill out your uh, login information and just login Yes, I have uh, just logged in. As you can see, there is my app section here. So I have all these uh, uh, apps that's already created. Just uh, click on see all apps just to see what all the apps I have already created. So these all are my test apps I just created. And now I'm going to create a new app here. So the basic uh, thing what you have to get is the app ID. Okay, so I'll show you. Uh, uh, from the uh, beginning just click on add a new app so once you click you have to get uh, a display name so I'm giving the display name as uh, mm, JavaScript login okay so once you uh, give a name just click on uh, create app so it will ask a captcha just click on that and just submit so just wait for your app to be created yes as simple as that the Facebook app is created okay so this is the dashboard for your uh, Facebook app okay you can see an app ID as I told so we need this one for further so we have to set up uh, the first preliminary things now uh, just click on setup uh, because we are going to get uh, the Facebook login okay so just click on the Facebook login setup so it will ask what type of app is your so for our app is actually a web app so just click on web app so it will ask for the site URL I'm not sure we can proceed with something I'm just clicking localhost okay just fill out, fill out localhost because we are uh, trying this in our localhost okay so if it is a, a real website of yours just uh, give your website name there okay now just select save and once it is just click continue and uh, first of all just click next and we don't want any of uh, these uh, uh, document because I have already selected I mean already uh, read and uh, created myself everything so I have just just click on next for everything and once it is done just click on back and what is the first yeah just click on next steps and yes I think we already we are all set okay now there is an option here it's in the status of uh, this is now a turn off status we have to turn on this one to get uh, this uh, for testing okay so there is an a message here you must provide a valid uh, privacy policy URL to tag a okay now we have to give a privacy policy URL just let's see just click on basic settings and here it's asking a privacy settings URL right what is that yeah privacy settings URL so I'm just uh, giving my uh, website a link I don't know I'm not sure it will work just give any website name just see and just click on save settings so once you saved it yes it's saved successfully okay now we can just try turning off uh, turning on the app so we have to select the category of the app so yes it is asking are you sure you want to make your app public yes definitely we have to so just uh, select a category so I'm uh, selecting randomly a category as education education just uh, select that and just press confirm okay 
now let's see what is the status of our app yes you can see the status is turned on okay now the next step what we have to do is we have to create a simple uh, PHP page so yeah this is my ST docs folder where I can create my local host PHP pages okay and you can see here my Apache server is uh, are running now if I'm just uh, selecting local host will be a page not found exception yes it's a page not found so I'm just creating a blank PHP page here let's see mm, go to text box and uh, just select uh, create an index.php yes the index.php has been created now let's uh, write something here I'm just writing my name and just save it and let's see if I'm just uh, refreshing the local host you can see my name is coming okay so actually the index page is actually loading there okay now we have to move further what is next is just Google I go to Google and search for uh, just search like the web login Facebook uh, yeah just search like this so once you search this you will get a page you can the page uh, is this one web Facebook login just click on that so you can see in a symbol and uh, a pure HTML uh, code so this this the document explain all how this works now we are not going to uh, read everything because I have already uh, done and they have just find out some way to get uh, the login successful okay so this is the uh, page so you can see here full code example is there so this is a basic uh, STM I mean JavaScript uh, page and you can see here there is a section known as app ID okay here we have to provide our app ID so I'm just uh, directly copying this from here okay from starting HTML tag to the last closing HTML tag okay I'm just uh, selecting to copy it now yeah, including the HTML this one also okay. so again and copy from here and I'm just pasting in my index.php completely okay now go to your app just copy your, uh, your app ID it will copy automatically and uh, come back to the section where you have your app ID okay now paste your app ID completely here mm -hmm. yes now let, let's go to our local host and just refresh and see what is happening yes the login button is coming there perfectly now if I'm just clicking login here it will ask uh, insecure block login block you can access from this app uh, trial reloading with HTTPS okay uh, the message is uh, we can we have to load the page as HTTPS yes let's try that so I'm just making this HTTPS local uh, HTTP local host HTTPS local host and just press enter and once you select in the yes you can see here we can we are getting a message please log into this app now let me close this and just click a login again yes the login is successful as you can see here ja, the name of our app and it is going to get our name and profile picture and email address okay so uh, this is the default uh, uh, default uh, Facebook is allowing every app to get the user in the name profile picture and email ID of uh, uh, any user okay so if you want like uh, to get the further information like the profile information the about information you have to ask I mean there is a section in your Facebook uh, uh, section where is that uh, in uh, I think it's in app review okay in app review we can get uh, uh, more details like login permission yes here it is we have we can add more uh, uh, permission uh, if uh, uh, if you want to get the user information okay so I'm not going to the we are simply focusing on login with app so I'm just uh, clicking on continue as uh, Gino okay this is my uh, Facebook uh, I detail just pressing continue as Gino and just wait and you can see here the thanks login uh, thanks for logging in in Gino Java okay it is uh, it is it got my uh, name there so what is there like uh, what is for the live if you want to get the email ID and uh, the name we have to do a small change in this index.php so I'll write the code here and I'll show you how it works okay now I'm going to create a one more page in the ST docs so the page name I'm giving it as uh, login dot php okay you can give any name so 
so uh, this page is only to uh, confirm uh, the uh, the names and the, only to confirm the login successful with uh, the name and email id passed to this login dot uh, php okay? so what i'm going to do is i'm going to receive that i i'll pass uh, uh, the name and uh, email id as an http url request and i'll receive that uh, in this page okay so to receive an std uh, uh, the a uh, uh, url request so this is the code as you know like uh, we are getting uh, the parameter like this okay so i'm just copying from here like this and uh, opening our login.php here and paste everything here okay so what will happen here i am receiving my name here and as same like i am receiving my email here okay so this is what i'm going to do so let's see uh, i'm going to pause uh, i'm going to uh, do some more changes in index.jsp to pass my uh, name and email to login.php uh, uh, and uh, let me write and i'll explain how it works okay yes i have uh, made a change in the code as you can see here so before it was like uh, the message thanks for logging in and uh, my name coming okay so i have just uh, updated uh, this section as like uh, welcome with your name and i, I have given a small href uh, uh, href tag so it is it will be passing my uh, my name and email id to login.php okay and uh, there will be a message like continue with facebook login if the login is successful okay now i have uh, done all the changes in the page and let's refresh and see what's happening so if i'm just refreshing yes you can see here i have given a heading login page and you can see welcome my name and uh, there is a uh, uh, continue and you can see down you can see uh, this part you can see it is uh, passing my name and email id okay so i have uh, just given a replace or because uh, just to some browsers is not accepting the space between the names so i have just given underscore between the uh, between the words okay between the, my two names okay if i'm just clicking uh, continue with facebook login you can see here my name is passed and uh, my email id is there okay so you can just uh, uh, update the login.php as you want so I have to give a small uh, BR here so it will take you to the next line. Let me save this. If I'm just refreshing here, yes, this is my name and this is my email ID. Okay, hope you got this. Uh, how you can integrate a login in uh, with uh, login with Facebook using uh, pure JavaScript. Okay, so this is the simplest and uh, uh, best possible way you can do it. Yes, uh, now let's try with uh, this uh, same login in uh, Internet Explorer also. So let me log in here. So this is the HTTPS, including HTTPS, give the local host and just press enter. And we can see it will ask as it is HTTPS, it is asking for uh, your, your security. Just press con continue and you can see login with Facebook is coming. And if I'm just uh, pressing login, you can see the pop up will come here asking you to login. Okay, yes, asking you to login, just login here. So once you login, you can see it will uh, give the message uh, welcome, and uh, you can uh, like proceed for the next step. Like on clicking this one, it will take you to the login.php with the name and email id is there okay so you can see all the backend process just uh, uh, go to your local host and just press f12 in your uh, browser you can see here in back and it's uh, getting an access token here and using this access token it is uh, getting your user id of your facebook and getting your uh, profile information okay you can see here successful login is uh, coming here okay so hope you got this i'll share all the source code in my description you can have it and trust me this is the simplest way you can integrate login with uh, facebook in all your uh, web app so you have all you have to do is you have to update your uh, web information like uh, your uh, website name or your local host name in uh, that uh, in in this settings you can see here in the settings you can give your url okay your uh, your site url I think I have already shown that while uh, re registering uh, the app. Okay, so yes, if you have any doubt in this, please comment below. I'll try to help you. 
and please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching